Recently, this guy broke the world record for most diamonds in Minecraft. It took him over two years, but I, I'm going to beat that in a month. No, I'm serious. Instead of mining for the diamonds like he did, I'm going to be using machines. <laughs> and I mean big machines. You see, with only one of these little machines, I'm capable of mining two stacks of diamonds per hour. That might not seem like a lot, but when you add 10 more of them next to each other, it, uh, it adds up. But I'm not only going to build 10 of them. No. Nah. No, 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 no. I'm gonna build 50 of them lined up. Instantly, I got to work getting all the materials I needed. Spending literally hours of my time mining redstone, making observers and pistons, because apparently building 50 TNT mining machines requires quite a lot of materials. But after spending another 10 hours grinding all the materials I needed, I was finished. Now we can finally start building the machines. <laughs> You thought. We still need to get the hardest material, all the ancient debris. 150 to be exact. And that, that's a lot. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll start mine. And while I spend hours of my time getting ancient debris, you might be thinking by now, wouldn't it be faster just by using all this time mining for diamonds? <laughs> Nope. Just wait. When these machines are built, I'm gonna have thousands of diamonds in no time. And after a quick, you know, short five hours of mining ancient debris, I now had all the materials for phase one. Building the machines. Oh. No. Oh my god. First step, I need to make room for the machines. And of course, I'm gonna use TNT. Perfect. TNT just makes your life so much easier. Oh, diamonds. Hey. Now I just need to blow up the remaining blocks. Then we'll be good. Oh. Alright. Oh. That was close. Ooh, diamonds. And after not even coming close to dying at all, we now have enough room to build all the machines. Ow. This, this might take a while. Bro. Can you just stop? Okay, buddy. And just like that, we are finished. With the easy part. <laughs> Not funny. While building the rest of the machines, I couldn't stop worrying if this was actually gonna work. Sure, one works just fine, but 50 of them lined up? That... that might be a different story. Now I just need to place a minecart in every single one of these machines, and place the last pistons. And the machines are finished. <laughs> This is insane. It goes on for miles. Bro, I swear, if this doesn't work, and just like that, it's time for phase two, mining the diamonds. But before I turn on the machine, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Honkai Impact 3rd. Honkai Impact 3rd is a free-to-play 3D action game, which tells the story about the fight against the Valkyries and the energy called Honkai that roams the world. The new version of the game's 6.0 summer event is coming out right now, so that means the game will have new characters and huge updates for the main chapter. One character you can play, Elsa, has a brand new battle suit, and her ultimate attacks makes her transform into a mermaid making her able to do ice damage to her opponents. And captains will be able to get the chance to have Shadow Knight's new outfit, Seagull Sword. There will also be two new summer outfits for version 6.0, along with Starry Impression Grizio and Vil V's Flamboyant Pirate Summer Suit. Swap your crystals to get your hands on them and unleash those super cool ultimates. Download Honkai Impact 3rd with the link down below today. And use the gift code on screen to get 30 crystals, 2,888 asteroids, and a hair share trial card for free. Thank you Honkai Impact 3rd for sponsoring today's video. Alright, it's time to see if the machine actually works. If it doesn't... I don't know. <laughs> Please work. Oh! <laughs> this is insane. Yo. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. Hold on. One of the machines blew itself up. Um... Turns out, while building the machine, I placed one sticky piston in the wrong spot, resulting in almost wasting 25 hours of my time and breaking this entire machine. Yeah. That could have been a lot worse. So after rebuilding the machine the right way, nothing should break this time when I turn it on. Hopefully. Oh. <laughs> hey, it works. And with the machine now working, the question everyone is wondering, how fast can you find diamonds with this machine? <laughs> yes. Did we get any diamonds? Oh, yep. Here's some. All right, let's go again. Oh. 
All right, more diamonds. Oh, yep. Here's some. Bro, this works so well. Is there any more over here? No way there is. And some on the ceiling. Okay, this works too well. And it works so well that every time I turn on the machine, there was always either one or two veins of diamond. Maybe even three. And to be honest, I got a little carried away. Oh, the skeleton better move. Move! Move! Well, he's dead. I'm not even kidding you. In no time, I almost had my inventory full of diamonds. Oh, a machine broke. Wait, what? What happened here? But then I surely realized a big problem on the machine that could destroy everything. Gravel. Yep, gravel. You see, there's a chance that gravel can fall above, landing on the machine, which blocks a TNT from launching all the way. And, um... It blows up everything. And if you didn't know, that's... That's not good. So starting now, I had to be extra careful, making sure to remove any gravel I saw. All right, I want to see how many diamonds I can get in just five hours. I'm going to sit in my chair all night, not stop grinding this machine out. I'm not... I'm not kidding. About two hours in, everything was going perfect. Mining for diamonds, repairing tools, getting more food, mining more diamonds. But that was until my PC literally blue screen. And if you don't know what that means, it's when your PC basically crashes and shuts off. Oh, no big deal. Let me just turn it back on, load up Minecraft. Oh, for some reason when my PC blue screen, every single minecart fell off my machine. Which meant I needed to put them all back on. This, this might take a while. And after 30 minutes, it was finally fixed, and I was back in business. Bro, it's only been two hours, and I'm finding so many diamonds. I wonder how many diamonds I will have after the five-hour timer is up. All right, it's been over five hours of non-stop grinding this machine out. In the moment you've been waiting for, I managed to get 1,848 diamonds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. But although that's insane, it's nowhere close to the world record. And if I keep up with this rate, it would take me another 50 hours of mining to get the rest of the diamonds. And I... I don't have time for that. I need to get diamonds faster. So what do I do? Build more machines, baby. All right, instead of only having 50 machines, we now have 70 machines. But I think we still need more. But the problem is we can't keep extending more machines to the side since I won't be able to fully render them in. So instead of building more to the side, why not build more up? My plan was simple. Build another 70 machines right above the lower machines. Double the machines equals double the diamonds. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so smart. But making room for these machines is gonna take forever to mine. And of course, I don't wanna use TNT because it'll just blow up the lower machine. So it's probably our best bet to make a beacon. Into the nether. Bro, I hate getting weather skeleton skulls. It always takes forever. Boom, easy peasy. All right, the beacon is finished. What, are you jealous? And after 30 minutes of mining, I only cleared out this much space. <laughs> this, this is gonna take forever. And after mining and clearing out space for another five hours while watching YouTube, we now have enough room to build the new machines on top. But first, we need to get more materials to build them. <sighs> And after two more days of getting more slime, ancient debris, and every single material we needed to build these machines, I began to finally build it. And lucky for you guys, you don't have to sit through it. Because with the power of editing, I can just do this. Boom, bat, bam, zam, pop, bang. Okay, we are finished. Now, this is just insane. Look at this. Oh my god. The double layered machines. But before I even got to test them and see if they would work, me being dumb, I accidentally set off the wrong piston. Oh. Oh no. Resulting in... No, 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 no. Almost half of the machine's blowing up. But it's alright because... The power of editing. <laughs> alright, lesson learned. Do not touch that piston. If you thought finding diamonds with 50 machines was insane, <laughs> just wait for how many diamonds we'll find with 140 machines. But this... <laughs> Yo!
and just like I thought, I was finding more than triple the amount of diamonds. And my goal of beating the world record was actually looking possible. Diamonds! But after only an hour of using this machine, I realized the big problem. This machine just kept breaking. No matter what I did, every three to four times pressing the button, something always broke. What? Why? Meaning I was spending most of my time not even mining diamonds, rather fixing the machines over and over again. And because of that, I was mining less diamonds than what I would with the 50 machines. But what was I even gonna do? Go back to the 50 machines? Heck no. I needed a new plan. So after spending a whole day researching different machines, I found a machine that can mine 10 times the amount of diamonds. A machine that's fully automatic, having over 200 TNT dupers, and most importantly, it's insane. The Big Machine 2000. Yes. Yes, I made that name. But look at this thing, bro. It's capable of mining a huge hole fully automatic, making finding diamonds super easy and fast. I didn't care that it required thousands of materials. So I needed a build. Well, we won't need this anymore. And after grinding for days on end, making pistons, observers, slime, grinding to the point where I was literally going insane. Uh... AFK in farms in school, yes in school, mining redstone for literally hours, almost giving up multiple times, I finally got all the materials to build it. <laughs> Yes, time to beat the world record. And in the matter of no time, I was building the machine. And weirdly enough, it wasn't even that hard. You just need to build one TNT flying machine, but over and over and over and over and over and over again, until you build all 200 of them. All right, and only three hours in, we are finished. Well, part of it. I still need to build all the sweepers, which will remove all the water and lava that gets in the way. And after building all the sweepers and clearing the room around the machine so it can work, it was time to turn it on. But before before I do, I just want to let you know every subscriber I get on this video, I will have to skulk my rolled 4 block. And on my last video, I got 66,000. That would mean I would have to skulk my rolled over 264,000 blocks. So let's see how much we can get with this video. Bro, if this machine breaks, I'm literally going to cry. Not only because it took me forever to build, but I don't know how to fix it. Alright, come on. Please. Come on, please. Oh. It looks like it's working. Please. Okay, it, it's working. It, it seems to be work. Oh, oh no. Wait, are those machines broken? Oh, okay, they're not. Like they look like they're broken, but they're not. Oh my God. This is just insane. Oh my God. And now with the machine working and on, it's time for the hardest part. Going to sleep and AFK in the machine. <sighs> And once the machines are at diamond level, we can mine all the diamonds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to bed. Okay, I couldn't fall asleep, but it's been around three hours. So let's see how much progress it made. Oh my gosh. This is mad. This is massive. Look at it all load in, bro. Yeah, by tomorrow morning, we will definitely be at diamond level. All right, back to AFK. All right, the big reveal. Oh, it looks like it's still working. Oh. Oh no. 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 Why did the sweepers stop working? No. Remember when I said I hope this machine doesn't break because I don't know how to fix it? Yeah. I still don't know how to fix it. I tried everything to fix the sweepers, and with no surprise, I couldn't fix them. And with the only option is to break and rebuild the entire sweepers, I got to work. <laughs> And after 30 minutes, we fix all the sweepers and we're back in business. Yes! And after that mini obstacle, I thought everything was going pretty smoothly. The sweepers working again, TNT dupers working fine, no lag. <laughs> Not until 10 minutes later when randomly while watching the machine, this happened. Wait, what? Uh... Uh-oh. No, what? Why are they flying? No. At this point, I was lost. This wasn't just a simple fix for the machine. I would have to destroy and rebuild the entire machine to fix it. Bruh. And at this point, I realized I probably would have beat the world record by now if I just only mined diamonds normal. Instead of wasting hours of my time trying to build the machine to beat it faster. Uh... But this only came to one conclusion. I was going to mine for the rest of the diamonds normal. Yes. 
I'm not kidding. For the past one and a half months, I've been mining diamonds with all my free time. That's why I haven't uploaded in so long. But I'm proud to say I'm the new record holder. But also shout out to Wamba for inspiring to make this video and beat his record. Please don't try to beat it again. It took me forever. But anyways, go watch this video right here. It's another banger.